everyone. We're back live. Uh, much earlier than I normally am live, but uh, work wrap wrapped up rather early for me today. So um, we're here. We have a, quite a stacked itinerary for today's stream, um, but it's still pretty typical of what we've been doing lately. Uh, we've got after image speedrun marathon pack first. Uh, we'll be doing the essential only. No, no, the wall. I think the wall bonus ending that I've been doing along alongside the essential at this point, I feel comfortable enough in. Uh, we'll still do some more, like no reset speedruns later, uh, probably on day seven, the last day or whatever, um, or maybe not on day seven, but like, but like uh, the week I come back from my trip, I'll probably do some no reset runs of the wall. But I think for now I'm good. Um, so we're just gonna do the essential segments of practice today. Um, no full speed run start to finish, and then afterwards we'll play Soten Randomizer and then Isaac. So yeah, we'll start with After Image. I've already got a save file for Loss. So a couple of things I noticed the last time we fought Loss. Uh, there's like definitely more room for improvement, which I was suspicious of already, but I think it was pretty evident last time we did the run that uh, there's it can be just implemented like right now. So um, let's try it, basically. Oh, uh, huh. Interesting. The cursor was already on where it needs to be. Ah. All right, already messed it up. Just started, it's over. Um, one of the most important parts I want to do is just before the phase two transition where he starts doing feathers, I want to basically do this. I want to do two, um, short hop jump slashes with blade and then immediately on the second one when I land do the standing attack, which basically just auto times when I do the next jump attack to deflect the feathers. So... I want to implement that and then see where we can go from there, because I think that's like definitely a place where it can be imp implemented much more easily than otherwise. You just remember the menu. All right, and then. Uh, we get the potions quick slotted. <clears throat> yeah, the crits being there is gonna be still problematic, but I just gotta delay the hop after the previous jump. Ah, I got a crit there. Uh, that that sucks because I was trying to do I was trying to do the next short hop after that but then the crit did change the timing so I do want to see how like how much I can adjust the timing of it without being like super uncomfortable Like, loss is not an area where I can really, like, say that I need improvement right now, but there's just room to improve it, at least. That's more so how I want to look at it. So it's like, might as well implement it if I can. Okay. I don't know if the crit caused my input to be different there, but that was weird. There we go, yeah. So yeah, that does work. Okay. Yeah, I gotta figure out, like, 
I don't think there's anything in options to prevent the crit hit stop from happening, unfortunately. Uh, I was surprised to see the camera shake was available because I don't think there's anything to change how the crit works, unfortunately. And if there were, it probably wouldn't be legal to change. Um, I doubt it, at least. There we go. We gotta, like, kinda walk away from him if he's too far up. AI manipulation. Oh my goodness. Missing the jump is just brutal. Yeah, that works actually. Okay. So we'll try to get one more successful attempt and then we can move on uh, to another segment. I was thinking uh, we need to practice Whispering Forest again. So we'll probably do that. Should we just go to Whispering Forest uh, normally? Like, just continue along until we get to Whispering Forest? I'll probably do that. Uh, oh, we have Bronze Sword in this file, right? That was a little freakish, so I'm going to be extra careful there. I'll go ahead and grab the Tower of the Exile Confluence here. So that's what I'll do in the um, marathon run. Uh, we can put this on. Yeah, because this Confluence... Uh, like, if we die at Alice, which can, you know, that can happen, right? We don't want to get back to the columns, necessarily. Because that wouldn't be that desirable. Ah, this is not good. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, the generous Alice pattern. Let's go. Yeah, my hands are a little tired, so uh, I'm definitely glad we're not doing <laughs> runs proper. Um, that That's a little too much for now. In any way, like, since I'm going to be going on a two-week vacation, I won't be able to do runs continuously until uh, until the day of the, the weeks of the marathon, right? So we're going to have to, like, practice again more when I come back anyway. So... We won't be done here yet, but at least we'll... Oh, what the... When was the last time that I died to Crystallized Wolf? Oh my goodness. Um, We'll have to come back to this anyway, so... This won't be the last time that I do uh, segmented runs, since we gotta do... Uh, or, this won't be the last time we do runs, because, um, you know, seven days of grinding is good enough. I Like, I'm feeling like the the practice so far has been rewarding and you know I don't want to overdo it overdo it so oh, this is not a great crystallized wolf it's okay it's not a real one yeah like the other thing too is I'm not sure if uh I'm not even sure if they uh, will approve the, the wall bonus run. And, I mean, like, I've done sufficient practice for it, so, you know, if the, if the incentive is improved and... Or, it's not improved. Oh, my goodness. I can't speak. Approved. If the, if the incentive is approved and it is also met during the run, then that's exciting, right? But I don't even know right now if it's going to be approved, so... Um, but, in any case, I just don't want to overdo it, anything. I'm not saying, like, oh, I shouldn't practice it, but I don't want to overdo anything. The essential is the main run, after all. It's the essential run. You guys see what I did there? <laughs> it's the essential run. Okay, see, the vulture came right away, so that worked out really well. The other time, the vulture just stood there, and then it shot point blank, and I died. Oh, we used bronze sword. That's true. We wouldn't have bronze sword ordinarily. So, uh, I should just use the Scythe of Torture for that kill. If I'm gonna kill the enemy after all. I should have put in the title that this is segmented practice. Because I'm not sure if people know. But this is segmented practice. We're not doing any runs today. Or not title, but description. YouTube titles can't be that long. This title's already really long. <laughs> I hit the 100 character limit with this title. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah, yep. When that platform like bobs up and up and down, it's so annoying. Yeah. Uh, dive kick in this game. Getting the exotic Gata does matter, it looks like, though, because it seems like you don't get one shot at these guys with the armor. Good to know. Getting a little more due from there, because I'm not sure if it makes a difference for later. So, might as well get it. Not that this is a real run anyway, but I want to see if it matters towards the end. second guys let me check something quickly I'm curious if uh, I, I needed to change some settings in discord today to make sure that everything worked okay yeah this does work I see hmm interesting so it might have just been discord stream I'm not sure if it's because of streamer mode or because of discord stream status I really should have try to keep uh, things consistent because I uh, changed two variables at once for this to have worked so now I don't know which one was the actual factor <laughs> that's like the number one no-no for uh, scientific experiments ah, come on. get out of here Okay, for some reason I've been having a lot of trouble with Spring Force lately, so now is the time to fix that. Not even talking about the sequence break, I'm talking about like dying at failure yesterday. That was ridiculous. But sequence break too. <laughs> Although this one I already know it's like going to be really hard to hit like first couple of tries in a marathon, so it's all good. Oh, that made it. Wow, I'm surprised that made it. Third try just like yesterday. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna like, you know, grind out the sequence break right now though. I think better to focus on why I'm dying at failure over and over, like I was yesterday. I think that's a more, that's a better use of time right now. Because I know the sequence break is gonna be difficult, but I'm gonna go for it in the marathon. Not because I'm like, oh, this is uh, time to show off, you know, no, nothing like that. This is legitimately like the best way to route the essential right now, so. Why was I messing that up yesterday? That's crazy. Like, it's it's literally free. Okay, not literally free, but like, come on now. <laughs> it's failure. Okay, one more time. If it's really that free, then we gotta do it one more time. <clears throat> Missed one deflect, but it doesn't really matter that much. Still phase two almost instantly. So yeah, I don't know. Weird. Three times a charm. Is it really legit? Back to the the old days of uh, learning any percent. Failure was one of my weakest sections by far. Or just whispering force in general. 
I'm not saying it's easy now, like, because Whispering Forest is still a ridiculous area, but uh, things have changed since then. Okay, uh, we'll go for the backup. That's fine. Going for the backup is still important to know how to do. Yep. Because, <clears throat> you know, this can happen in Marathon, too. Alright, nice. Oh, I wasn't supposed to equip that right away. It's fine. Not a big deal. I mean, it's not a real run, but this is pretty good, I would say. Uh, 42, let's kill her a couple times, I guess. Uh, that one, we should be... Well, I mean, we should be fine in the run, because we have two shot against her. I don't imagine anything going, like, incredibly badly, but you never know. You really never know with these things. Ah, darn. I messed up uh, going for... Oh, this might not... Yeah, darn. It's okay. I mean, like, getting the Ice Rainless is not really a big deal in the marathon. And we can take that hit all day. Okay, it's fine. It's any percent where that's, like, obviously a bit more stressful. Because she wants, she wants shots on everything in any percent. As far as we know, at least. There might be some HP setup with talent points or equipment to make it not a one shot. That was a little close for comfort. I think I mistimed my uh, jump, so I just wanted to make extra sure that we were safe.
missed a lot of crouch cancels there. It's all good. So I remembered something. Uh, we used to grab guardian swords, didn't we? Or not we, but uh, some runners used to grab it. Not sure if that still makes any difference, even if you don't equip it. At this point, we're all just kind of dealing with the levels of cope for boat. Alright, I didn't do my normal thing, so we'll see if we make it. Actually, I do want to do this instead. Okay, yeah, see, it didn't make a difference, right? So right here is like the barrier for the camera to change, like right here, exactly. So I'm gonna walk squat so we get there. So I'm off camera now, right? If I walk like a few pixels forward, then the camera changes. I haven't found that spot yet, it seems like. Okay, I'm like within like the two pixel range, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, to me, it's like nothing uh, definitive there. Hey, what's up, Nightspeed? How does this camera fi shift ex affect the speedrun? So I'm, I'm trying to figure out, uh, or not I'm, but like the speedrunners have been trying to figure out what causes the boat cuts cutscene to not load here, right? Because this is a bug right here. Uh, there's supposed to be a cutscene that allows for the boat to get lit, the like lamppost right here. And then that way you can make it to uh, Field of Hydro. But because this cutscene didn't load, we can't actually make it there. And this is what has been causing the speedrun to be plagued, like, basically since the game released. Because this bug has never been fixed. Uh, and funny enough, like, you can encounter it in casual play too. It's not even, like, just in speedruns for going fast. But the only way we found to fix it is just reloading the game. Which I'll just do. Uh, but uh, in the speedrun, it loses, like, over a minute if, if you run into it. Um... And then if you don't run into it, then you know, you're know you just free to sail the boat right away. It's troublesome because we have no idea what causes it to work or not work. Like, it's super inconsistent. I still have no clue. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't I don't know why I got dived a bunch of times there. Um, it's just, it's just frustrating because like a lot of runners have been working very hard uh, and it feels like we can't get good times that reflect the hard work because of this bug. Cause it, like this, like you do all the good stuff previously in the run, and then you just lose like a minute and a half out of nowhere. And there's like not really any definitive uh, like thing we can go off of to know what causes it. It's truly a shame. Yeah, and, uh, but you know, it's like, we've done what we can do at this point. It's, it's unfortunate. Hey, I hope you're doing well on uh, uh, Nightspeed. Thanks for the stream earlier today. It's good to see some uh, Sonic racing action. I feel like a lot of people kind of sleep on... Uh, what it were, seems like they sleep on the Sonic racing games. Waka was telling me about it a little bit, but like they have a lot more depth than like your average party game racing game like Mario Kart. Yeah, it is really obnoxious. Yeah, it's 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 terrible. But uh, thankfully, like it's because because it's like as far as we know, it's out of our control. We we can at least you know consider um, implementing a rule on the leaderboards where we can remove uh, any time lost to boat bug from the RTA. We just remove that from the RTA and just have like a, you know, boat bugless time 
alongside the full RTA time. But, I mean, it hasn't been implemented yet, but it's something I'm considering. And uh, so far, I think one runner has expressed, like, I shouldn't say approval, but like somewhat agreement on implementing it. So, um, at least there's something there we can do. You're gonna be streaming more. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Happy for it. Yeah, I should I should be there most days because uh, during work I usually ha like to have some background noise. So, um, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm on Twitch quite a bit. <laughs> Sonic Racing Game are some of your favorites. You love kart racers. They're pretty in-depth. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I didn't play enough Mario Kart when I was younger. It was just my cousin that I wanted to beat, and that was really it. And then I had played a little bit of Mario Kart DS, but it's, you know, that that game is goofy, too. Like, the speedrun for this cool, kind of. Same with Mario Kart Wii. But I think playing, like, playing it semi-seriously is a little goofy. Like, other than speedrunning, that is. Uh, oops. Yeah, it makes sense. Some kind of time rule make the boat problem less annoying. Yeah, yeah. It's similar to, like, load load time removal in, um, in like, games like Portal 1. Where, I mean, they have an auto... They have, like, a some sort of script or whatever that automatically removes load times. It's really cool. I think it's part of auto splitter or something. Uh, but I think... Since we don't have something like that, we can just use, uh, we just use, you know, um, the time lost due to boat as like the metric for the leaderboards being sorted, and then, you know, also have alongside it the, uh, the regular RTA time. I think it'll work. Like, it's obviously not an ideal solution, but it's the best we can do, I think, without like, I don't want any other runners from here to suffer through what we had to. Because it's just brutal when you're trying to go for good times. Um, let me pause here and read the rest. Yeah, Transistor OST. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I love that game. Uh, I recently kind of rediscovered an affinity for the OST. And also did a replay of the game not long ago. It wasn't on stream, but... Um, I'm like, man, when I was younger and I first played this, how come I didn't like the OST or didn't recognize that it was like a, ju a jewel, you know? So, had to throw it in the stream play playlist also. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Um, but yeah, love the game's OST. It's really good. Really good stuff. And the fact that it's like integrated to the game naturally too, I think that's a really cool artistic decision. It feels like it's like natural as part of the game. Has the dev of this game done any patches or is this bug permanent? So unfortunately, like, uh, 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 Oregon Shanghai, the developer, uh, they have done patches of the game very infrequently. And they're all like major patches. Like they don't do like small patches fixing bugs or anything. They do like all the, like, they do all the patchwork in like one big go. And I'm not sure if it's because they have a publisher, uh, Modus Games, now known as Maximum Entertainment, I'm not sure if it's because of the publisher in any way, or that's just the way they choose to patch the game. It's very unusual, but yeah, we haven't had an update for the game since December. They recently released a mobile version of After Image, uh, which I think is a success. Like that's, and also it's just a good idea in general. Uh, but unfortunately, we haven't had much uh, fanfare. Or like the devs haven't really spoken much on anything lately. Also, I think I got the whole the skip bug. Yeah, I couldn't skip that at all. Very odd. This game's like that, though. Yeah, but as far as we know right now, the devs are definitely aware of it, because it's been in the game since launch. And it's not like they've ignored people mentioning the bug, but they haven't fixed it, so it's unfortunate. And again, it's encountered in casual play, so it's not like us speedrunners are just going too fast or whatever. You love Transistor OST right away. Old Friends might be your favorite Darren Corb track of all the Supergiant games. Let's go. Love to hear that. Yeah, no, that, that OST is just so good. I think actually the instrumentals are my favorite, to be honest. Because, yeah, I do like the singing tracks. But to be honest, like, in-game, I'd rather have, like, the, 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 like, you know, 
soft humming because it feels like more like integrated into the environment of the game. I'm not sure how to describe it, but it feels so like calming and uh, like natural fit for the game as opposed to the vocals tracks, especially given like the background behind the main character, right? I get it, she's a singer, but like the the um, humming tracks just felt way more powerful for me personally. And I'm a, obviously I'm a big fan of instrumental tracks, so naturally I'm gonna be more biased towards the humming, right? But I'm a huge fan of the, the soundtrack overall. It's really good. I have to say my favorite track is probably Gateless though. Um, I love my odd time signatures, but um, Old Friends is great, of course. The, the the track that you start the game with has to be really good to capture the the player's attention and I think Old Friends definitely does that extremely well. It's like it, it has like a here we go again kind of feel, but not in like a diminishing or bad way. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's right. Uh, there's also, I think, I can't remember the name of the track. I think it's uh, starts with an S. It's going to be coming up here soon, that, that track I'm thinking of right now. Um, I can't remember the name of the track, though. It's it's the one that plays when you go to the stage theme, the microphone on the stage, and then she gets like a panic attack, kind of. Um, it's it's that scene, the song that plays then. That one has the vocals, and I'm like, okay, I'm okay with that, right? But. I definitely prefer the humming. You know, like there's like a hum button, right? Like in the control bindings, and you can just—I can actually open up Transistor like <laughs> right after this to just refresh my memory on what I'm talking about. I still have it installed, so. Um, let me see. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the vocal tracks play when you uh. Uh, when you open the jukebox mode, uh, like those beach things, I can't remember what they're called. Uh, but I think the only other one is uh, on that stage scene. I, I cannot remember other times where the vocal tracks play with vocals. They only have like the hums most of the time, and that's when you like hold the button, or or uh, what's it called? When you're when you're when you activate uh, the function. Uh, what what whatever that thing is called, where you get like to plan your turn. Um, I think that's where you get like the uh, the like the dulled out hum of of the soundtrack. Yeah, odd time signature sounds like it'd be up my alley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yep, indeed. I'm I'm very easy to read on that one. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you agree it fits the name. Uh, the name fits the song perfectly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's so good. Um I think I think naming naming uh instrumental soundtracks is so difficult. People kind of underrate how that goes. But you can tell a story just through song titles even the ones that are instrumental, so I think uh, that's conveyed pretty pretty well in that moment. Uh, not not Signals, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Man, let me just, uh, let me see the playlist briefly. Sorry, one sec. Uh, I have it here, it's just not the vocal version. The Spine, there we go, The Spine. That's what it's called. So, okay, it doesn't start with an S, but it's uh, it's an S after the, the article. <laughs> But it's called the spine. The it's the track that plays when you get the um, when you get the scene. Yeah, it is kind of stressful. I agree. I agree. That's that's definitely true. You love transistors, atmosphere, and most of the time, and most of all the super giant games. Personally, let's go, man. Yeah. Admittedly, I haven't played any other super giant game except for Hades, and Hades is not like for me I just, I just come with the I've come to terms that Hades is not for me but I still recognize like the great work it did there we go I think I was on the that that's like the pixel dive kick where you won't get hit by the uh, the cube but it's very weird it's very finicky Darren Corp's tracks are really well made yeah 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 mm -hmm. highly agreeable 
It's an art. Video game uh, OSTs are some of the best music, some of the most enjoyable music to listen to. You recommend trying Pyre? You like Hades, but it's not your favorite Supergiant game. Oh, is Pyre your favorite? I have, yeah, I have not touched Pyre or uh, or Bastion at all. And I hear that Bastion was kind of like the the framework for Transistor's combat, which I did like. So um, I'll probably try both Pyre and Bastion eventually. Transistor is a favorite than Pyre. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Oh wow, Hades third. Uh, those uh, super giant fans are gonna come after you, dude. You gotta be careful. <laughs> be careful what you say. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, uh, no, that's really cool. I rarely hear anyone say like Hades is not their first favorite uh, super giant game. The only reason like I'm not saying like oh Transistor is my most favoriteist is because I haven't really played all of them, you know. But I would definitely say Transistor is one of my favorite video games ever. Like that game was genuinely. When I was in high school, like, I was, uh, I was just really impressed with that game. And I still am, of course, right now, but in high school especially, that was some good stuff. Like, they know how to make video games right there. You know what I'm saying? So, that's like the feel you get from Super Giants games. Yeah, super giant fans and not Hades fans, right? Okay, you got me there. You got me there. <laughs> that is that is kind of true. <laughs> you honestly think Bastion's combat has more in common with Hades than Transistor? Interesting. Yeah, when I play Bastion, I'll probably uh, I'll probably try to take note of that. If so, you don't hate Hades. Don't get you wrong, but you love it, but it's not your thing. They're really good developers, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, they're one of like the indie, like not even just indie developers, they're one of the video game developers out there. Like, they're so consistent at making some great games. And they're they're not like, you know, it, it's such a breath of fresh air, honestly, because, you know, AAA developers, lately I've been on a, like an indie game tear, so obviously, like, I, I have thoughts about AAA games, right? But, yeah, they, they definitely put, like, AAA devs to shame with the stuff they put out. It's really good. Okay, let me let me check the rest of these once I get to Albedo's tree. Oh, uh, how I'm doing the run while while uh, talking. This is segmented, fortunately, so like I I feel like more comfortable looking at chat while doing the run. But also, um, I think uh, the more I like run this game, the easier time I have talking while streaming. Or I said talking while streaming. Oh no, that, no, that is right, talking while streaming. I have like a much easier time with it than I did uh, when I was first starting out because it's like so much, so intensive, right? So uh, involving. But I feel like now the movement is getting like more comfortable and stuff. So, and I have, thankfully I moved my chat window just next to where the screen I'm using to play after images. So it's a lot easier to like take a glance. <laughs> uh, I, I basically have like a, like I have, I, I've trained myself a little better to be able to look at it. But yeah, let me see. Um, you bought Transistor when it came out, but you fell off the Supergiant train until right around COVID. Oh, nice. Okay, that I mean that that's a great time to have played uh, through them because you know COVID was rough, and these are some excellent games to be playing uh, during a time like that. Um, you were glad Hades was so big for Supergiant, but it's like when your favorite thing goes mainstream. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean though. Like it's always a scary thing, right? You're never sure if the dev is gonna sell out or anything. Um, and if they do sell out, in what ways, right? Where is the quality going to drop now that they have they know what money looks like? Or now that they know what uh, fame and prosperity looks like? Are they going to compromise on anything that they've succeeded at? But no. 
Super Giant, it's impressive. They kept up their quality quite consistently. And uh, they remain like as one of... And look at the prices too. Like the prices of their games are still really well done. In my opinion at least. Like I would say Transistor is still worth it at full price. I didn't buy it at full price. But you know, it's rare to say a short game like that is worth at full price. I think that game, for all the quality it has, is certainly worth it at full price. Um, hold a skip bug. Hello. There we go. And of course that happened. Of course. Yeah, I think the cycles continue during the skip cutscenes, so unfortunately that didn't work out. I gotta figure that out if I'm doing another RTA run. Just hope that that doesn't happen, I guess, kinda. Yeah, this is not a good cycle at all. <clears throat> also, we're, did we not get enough levels? Why are, why are we... Hmm, interesting. I guess we're not level 30. Oh yeah, you were there when you were talking about how you have no idea if you like games at all. <laughs> no, I was. Uh, I don't know if I was there. Was that um, was that in the stream today? And uh, w like, what was the context? Were Were you talking about uh, Super Giants games, or was it like some AAA games or something? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's what happens. So it deloads the birds and it has a chance to respawn them, I guess. It's very interesting. <clears throat> I haven't seen it before because I haven't really done segments of practice for the essential in a while, but looks like that's what's going on. Uh, what happened? Did the playlist stop? Oh, strange. Nah, it's just YouTube being weird. Yeah. The the playlist just stopped for no reason. Alright. Gateless, there it is. Today you were joking about how you don't even like games with your friend. <laughs> you know, video games are kinda bad. So true. I've been I've been saying that for fighting games for a number of months now. So I don't I don't blame the sentiment on you. Uh, it, a after a certain point, you have to wonder whether it's just you or it's actually like the fact that the games are are getting worse, you know? You don't like FF7 Rebirth, Last of Us, Spider-Man? Oh, dude, don't worry about it. Okay, okay, I see, what, I see where you're going. Nah, don't worry about that. Like, I know some people will say, oh, you're just trying to be like a uh, hipster or whatever, but nah, dude, like, if you don't like those, you're fine. I think you've passed the vibe check if you if you say you don't like those to be honest. At least on my channel, you passed the vibe check. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, don't get me started on some of these cutscene games, man. Can we even call them video games? Some of them at least. Some of them. I'm not saying all of them. I I'm gonna be honest, I have no interest in playing any of these like new mainstream games that have been coming out recently. What what the What is that? What? What is that? I also I could die. I better be careful. Okay, we didn't die. That that was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Oh, I think you said something in chat, but I don't know if you're responding to that. Now playing uh, Widget, your beloved <laughs> knife. Me hating fighting games as I buy the latest one and boot up rank. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll admit. Nah, you're not you're not alone there. I say I hate fighting games and I'm still buying all these fighting games like on release just to never play them. Like Uni 2, I've played like under 20 hours of Uni 2. Or okay, I can't say under anymore. I have played 20 hours of Uni 2 now. And like, it's, it's kind of shameful. It's just uh, money being wasted. But, uh, you know, I still enjoy the fighting games, like, at least in the under the right circumstances, I still enjoy them. But I can't say, like, I can't justify, like, hopping on ranked after a tough day of work 
and saying, yeah, you know what? Fighting games are a go-to. They're so fun. You know, like that one, nah, I cannot do that. If that's just, oh, you know what? I didn't get the, uh, I didn't get the echo. That's why. That's why my level is so off. Well, now we know it makes a difference. You went through all of Rebirth and cannot understand how people can wholeheartedly call that their favorite game of all time. Yeah, I mean, I think some people are definitely hyperbolic in terms of, uh, or are using hyperbole <clears throat> to describe how good these games are or how much they enjoyed them. Like, like this game changed my life. I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not one to like discredit that, but you know, let's be honest with ourselves. Like. Nothing is new under the sun, right? None of these games are doing anything particularly innovative. Not not in the year 2024. Even though 2023 was a great year for gaming, it's more so the fact that the previous years, what what were we doing for the most part? At least AAA developers. And I feel like people say that, right? But then have they just been not following the indie scene? Because the indie scene always has some bangers, you know? Always has some great stuff being put out. And obviously, it's hard to pay attention to everything. There's just so much going on. Everything is trying to grab our attention, right? But I personally feel like now that my eyes have been opened to like games like this, because yeah, obviously for a time I was playing only fighting games pretty much. And uh, now that my eyes have been opened to like other games, just not just like mainstream games, but literally the coolest indie games, these uh, line races and stuff. Like I now understand uh, how cool. Also, we didn't even equip that. Wow. I was about to get bodied if I went for Iron Bastion. <laughs> But yeah, uh, like all these, all these games have been doing it, and still put out good stuff. And it's just a matter of opening your mind a little bit. Nice, we got the kill before that. Um, we don't need to do that. Yeah. Final Fantasy 16 you liked, even though it was a lot of cutscenes, because when the game was being a game, it was a game. No, no, that makes sense. I get it. Yeah, I, I, I exactly get it. Like, the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, like, when you're actually playing, it felt, like, engaging, Is if that if that's uh, inaccurate rephrasing. In Rebirth, if, if you see context-sensitive segments, you have to mentally prepare for it. Yeah, yeah. You know, part of it, too, is that the cutscenes have to be, like, natural, naturally cohesive with the rest of the gameplay, in my opinion. Like, Prince of Persia had some, what's it called, like, clear spectacle in the cutscenes, like, especially for super moves or phase transitions, but it didn't feel like it was breaking the flow of the gameplay, at least in my opinion. Like, it's, I still felt engaged, and obviously you can skip the cutscene after a while, which thankfully the game allows you to do, which is great. I think that's where it's like, okay, at least the game understands that some people might not want to see the cutscene every time, right? But. I didn't feel like it broke up the flow in any way. Um, you, you, you used to think buying a game not to play it was wasted money, but honestly, wasted money from not playing a game is better than wasted time from playing a game you don't like. Yeah, okay. No, no, that's really well said. I, I think that's a, that's a sentiment I can agree with. You know, I shouldn't I shouldn't really say wasted money because obviously I still had great times and joined the friends in a lot of these fighting games. And, you know, obviously, as you know, like I've met a lot of people through fighting games. A lot of the people that I know right now we're through fighting games, and unfortunately, without that, I don't know if I would really be in a great place. But uh, I will, I will say, like, you know, I I don't spend a lot of like of my own time in these fighting games, so uh, some of them I probably would have been better off just holding off for a few months and buying it on sale. But you know, it's fine. Like, I, I don't regret buying Uni Two. I'm. It, it's kind of like a lot of salt, I guess. Definitely, like around, around release, I was very annoyed. Because it's like, uh, they, they could have avoided this, you know? Like, it's Arc System Works just back at their shenanigans, especially for games that they don't develop. <clears throat> you love video games, but only because you've always tried to play a ton of them. Indies are so much cooler than big budget games. Not that there isn't a room for AAAs, but they shouldn't be the only thing. No, agreed. Agreed. Yeah, no, AAA games being the only thing, especially knowing that AAA games just try to, you know... Like, file out stuff, like, every year. Like, you know, FIFA doing their nonsense, um, NBA 2K. Like, all the games that try to release stuff so often just for the sake of releasing something. That's when you know they're going to skimp on the quality. Uh, and I think indies do so much better just focusing on a game that feels great to play rather than a game putting something out there 
you know, so that it can pay the executives' pockets. Um, same goes for all media. It's better and healthier to give different things a shot. No, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Take the good and leave what you don't want. Yeah, I think um, understanding what you like jive with is very important. Cause, uh, oh dear. Okay, hold up. I, this fight, I don't know if I can comfortably do while talking. So give me a second. <laughs> I haven't gone to that point yet, I don't think. Ow, yeah, that was not good. I landed too much. Uh, all good though. Oh, I shouldn't have used that potion. messing up the jump there. Okay. Cheap. Cheap. Like, the other attack was literally still out. What am I supposed to do about that? Yeah, um, what I was saying is, like, I think games that haven't been focusing on uh, good gameplay are doing themselves a disservice, because oftentimes they're like, yeah, let's just, you know, let's find a good way to get people, like, allured by the trailer or whatever and maybe buy it. But then indie games just focus on <laughs> a game that feels good to play, you know? And it's great. I've been enjoying indie games a lot lately. I, I really missed out on a lot while I was playing only fighting games for a while. Uh, but, you know, we're making up for that right now. Even a game like, you know, hey, like Symphony of the Night, not an indie game by any means, but that's that's a game that was made to feel good to play. <laughs> like, story, who cares? Just put Alucard in some castle somewhere and let the player do whatever they want. They can find a turkey in the castle, they can find pot roast, they can find uh ripe banana rotten bananas for crying out loud but just make the game feel good to play <laughs> it's it's like amazing like all, all of those castlevania games from that time period i've been having a great time with them lately it's really good okay ggs uh well i didn't end up i didn't expect the segments of practice to end up just being run through the whole run <laughs> without timing it but it's fine um let's quickly do another renee fight uh, and then we'll be done with after image for now yeah, thanks, thanks. No, no, yeah, it was good. Like, I, I'm not one to, like, self-deprecate or anything. Like, like obviously, if I make a, like, major mistake, I'll be, like, disappointed for a little bit. But I've gotten better at, like, um, being easier on myself in that regard. Just, like, improve self-esteem, that kind of thing. But, no, that was actually a good run, for sure. Like, even though it was not, like, even though it was technically segmented, not RTA, uh, it was still really good. Um, the main thing I want to do better is just like if I if I don't do something exactly by the book I want to have better ways of improvising and you know implementing backups on the spot that's like that's like what really allows for things to be good because uh, it's like you know if everything doesn't go according to plan which inevitably it won't right but at least you have like the backup implemented and you can keep the run going, which is, that's the most most important part for marathons. And that's what I want to focus on because the marathon is coming up uh, very soon. So, uh, you know, it's it's all good. Like, even if I don't like get full deathless in the marathon, like, hey, at least I got to show off the cool strategies that we had, even if they didn't all work out. Um, and hopefully get a chance to talk about most of them too. Oh, what a crit. But yeah, movie games, 
Yeah, you know, I think the thing is, like, uh, there's, what that, what's that game called? Uh, Metal Gear Solid? Um, that game started doing a lot of the cutscenes, right? As part of the game. And obviously for its time, that was, like, kind of influential, influential to some degree, right? But, okay, I gotta dash a little later on that attack so I don't lose damage. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk while doing this fight. It's gonna be hard still. But, uh, Metal Gear Solid started doing all that stuff, right? And everyone thought, oh, like, oh, yeah, we should all do it now. So I guess everyone thinks it's good. Like, I don't know. I haven't played Metal Gear Solid myself, so I can't really say. Like, obviously, I enjoy watching someone else play that game, but if I were to play it myself, I would probably get bored to death by those cutscenes. You know what I mean? Like, games as an art, it's a very delicate thing. So, it's like, obviously, the developer's choice whether they want to implement those things for the immersion. But I'd say, you know, you can implement the immersion through a great score. And it doesn't even have to be, like, movie score quality. It can be, like... Um... Okay, what was that? It can just be like a good engaging soundtrack that allows for people to connect to like the characters or the moments more easily. Because you know, everyone talks about like Kingdom Hearts, right? Like, oh, Roxas theme or, uh, or this boss fight theme, right? Those are like emotional moments. And obviously having the music to like remember those is makes it like stick out a lot more. So I think that's what like developers can focus on more, in my opinion. But obviously, uh, there's different like strategies to that. Okay, not bad, considering I was yapping during that. You don't mind cutscenes, to be honest, but there's a lot that goes into movies. You'd say even more than games. Oh, definitely. Oh, I think I missed uh, some of the message earlier. You think a lot of movie games don't know what makes a good movie, but people eat them up? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the thing, right? Like, people want to see their you know, favorite character beat up the bad guy in a cinematic fashion. Uh, even if it means the character or the player has no control, right? Which I thought the whole point of games is for interacting with the game in that way. You can make interactive cutscenes. I mean, it's been done already. You could think of, uh, <clears throat> like, parry this, right? As as an interactive cutscene. Because it's, like, it's like, you have to do it. It's scripted. And I've seen it before, when I was watching uh, Zenryoku do his uh, Metal Gear Solid marathon stream, uh, he was doing, uh, I can't remember which Metal Gear Solid game it was, I think it was 3, where like at the end of it, uh, spoiler <laughs> if you haven't played, I'm so sorry, but uh, it's inevitable, right? Um, like the, the player is given control to like fire the gun, I won't, like, I won't elaborate on that, but the player is given control to fire the gun. And the game will not continue until you fire the gun yourself. Like, until you, like, press the button corresponding to that. I think that's cool. That's, like, a nice set piece to end a game. But in terms of, like, the stuff where you just watch characters just, like, walk around and talk with each other for 30 minutes, I don't know. Like, and not just 30 minutes at a time, but, like, 30 minutes at a time over the course of an X-hour game. I don't know. That, that might be a little tiresome after a while. Like, at least to me. Um, it's hard, it's hard to have a, like, what's the word? Uh, it's hard to have a nuanced opinion on it, because, you know, there's naturally going to be some polarity to it. But, yeah, I, I haven't been, like, too, like, I, 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 I like gameplay first, right? I'm a gameplay first kind of person, so, uh, I, I want the game to feel good to play, and then if there's good cutscenes, then I don't mind there being some here and there. Like, this game has barely what we can call cutscenes. They're just like dialogue boxes, pretty much. I don't think there's any cutscenes whatsoever, except for like where, moments where the the game takes away control from you and you gotta watch the camera pan a little bit or something, but then you can just hold and skip it or whatever, which honestly is the way to go. But I mean, the first playthrough, you still don't want to skip them because you want to see what's going on, right? But in general, it's like eh. uh, some other games handle it a bit more delicately but yeah um movies have to tell a complete story in two hours games comparatively blow everything a lot yeah oh definitely 100 percent. i mean even some movies bloat like uh i don't know if this is a hot take or not but i think uh planet of the apes 3 
that movie was way longer than it needed to be. And it was s- silly stuff, like people just dying, taking forever to die. Like they were like, like there were a lot of moments where the characters were like talking as they're about to die and they would talk slowly too. It's just, that movie is painful. And if you think about like how long it is. No, no, dude, legit. Uh, I, like the other Planet of the Apes movies, not, not as much. I actually think those other movies are worse. I think the first one is okay. Second one, I don't remember much from. The third one I thought was really good, but except for like the the padding, the padding just made it a little bit boring. But the 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 writing was pretty good overall. Um, and there's a new one coming out too, so I might look at that one. I'm not sure. It didn't look interesting in the trailer, to be honest. And I thought the third one ended on a good note, so I'm not sure if I'll watch the fourth one. But yeah. Um, you think games need to be good to play? Absolutely. But a lot of AAA games get so bloated with forced walking and climbing. Yeah, expi- oh yeah, exposition dumps. Oh, that's that's so true. I also, I don't know why I entered the save file, but uh, yeah, no, it's absolutely true. It's ridiculous, honestly. Like some of these games just extend the playtime just for no reason. It's not even like it's not even like uh, profound game time. Some of it's just literally you're doing like slow walking from like place to place. No fast travel, as an example of Metroidvanias or whatever, you know. That sort of thing doesn't need to be done. Uh, or if you're going to do it, you got to make it fun. Like, that's part of the moment to moment, right? So I think it's, it's, it's all very hard to, like, juggle and balance. Some of these games have been spending forever trying to figure it out. And admittedly, no one's ever going to figure it out 100%. But, you know, these are things that can be done and uh, should be taken into consideration for does the game feel good to play, you know? Um... Yeah, give me a moment, guys. I'm just setting up the Soten scene. We're going to play some Soten Randomizer now. I think we're good for after image for today. Uh, but we can continue chatting while I'm getting that set up. Just give me a moment here. Like, they're padding out the experience rather than telling a good, well-crafted story. Like, I think of the games like Neon White in the game told me everything without getting boring. Yeah, it's a visual novel, but visual novels might be better. <laughs> yeah. No, honestly, though, like Blaze Blue, uh, Blaze Blue has the visual novel stuff, but honestly, it's like entertaining in a, in a very like weird way. It's entertaining. Uh, it's the typical anime trash talk, but and then the occasional jokes. I'm not saying the jokes are good. The jokes are a little bit crude sometimes, but um, in terms of the entertainment value, it's high up there. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the Blaze Blue story mode before Chrono Phantasma compared to the Guilty Gear story modes, especially the one in Strive. The one in Strive is a literal movie. It feels like an insult, to be honest. It's like, this is what fighting in players want, right? Because they don't look at the story mode anyway. So we'll just make a full five-hour animated feature film. <laughs> so bad. You need to try a randomizer for a game? You know, I'm going to admit, not every game is great to play randomized um some games are kind of rough to play randomized just because they don't have the um they don't have like interesting things to randomize that's the best way to put it like uh like obviously symphony of the night it's a metrovania so anytime the metrovania is being randomized it's usually gonna be interesting but there are other games where it's just like you don't have enough to make the core gameplay experience feel different um Lately, for Simi of the Night, I've been enjoying just, you know, being able to use different weapons and see them in a new light because of, like, item stat randomize- randomization. And then also, relic locations being different changes the way you would route uh, a, glitchless, a glitchless speedrun of the randomizer. So it's really cool. Um, and honestly, this is the most fun I've had playing Simi of the Night, personally. I'm not saying that playing Simi of the Night normally is not fun, but... Uh, Randomized to me of the night is a good time, for sure. Even if you don't try to speedrun stuff. You should try BB, but you try now to combos and to cry. <laughs> oh, that's such a mood, dude. Yeah. Yeah, some of those some of those Blaze Blue combos are rough, even by uh, today's standards. But, you know, it's it's not like it's... I mean, yeah, okay. To be fair, yeah, it's now to, right? So I, I guess it's unfortunate that your experience was now to, you know? Because, yeah, Naoto is definitely uniquely rough. Like, there's some other characters that have easier combos. Some characters have harder combos. But Naoto is, 
one where yeah he has hard combos and there's no like proper escaping it if you want real damage and if there's any game where you want real damage and you cannot pass up on that blaze blue has got to be that game um give me a second guys i need to switch controllers too i cannot use this controller for semi of the night because i don't want my speedrunning controller to get worn out by another game <laughs> I'm very particular about that. Um, okay, there we go. You will not lie to you. You could not be bothered to watch a single GG story. Oh, dude. Like, okay, okay. I'm going to be, I'm going to be real though. Like the, the X2 era story is fine. Like that, I think that's fine. It's not a problem with checking out that story mode or arcade mode or whatever. But you could just re read the wikis too for that. <laughs> the issue really comes with the Exart era story modes and then now the Strive story mode, which is just the worst of, of all of them. It's, it's literally just a movie. It's a movie for stuff that you can either watch on YouTube or read on a wiki. Like, Blazeblue made, like, at least a half effort at making the story mode interactive by having, like, fights that are, like, not too hard, right, to make it not stressful. Uh, I'll be back. I don't know, Naoto looks cool. He just looks like a normal guy who makes blood swords. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think all the Blazer characters are cool, don't get me wrong, but... It's just, it's just super rough to make a character, like, fun to play right out of the gate in that game, because there's just so much to learn, you know? It's pretty ridiculous. Not, like, not in a bad way, but... It's like, how do you, how do you achieve that balance? Um... It's it's what you know. Arc System Wars have been trying to solve in, in some way, uh, even even to this very day. It's entertaining, obviously. Also, um, let's use in-game music for so and so. No, uh, no background music for this randomizer. I think that's a good idea. Just gotta make sure not to mute the music. Here we go. Alright, should be good now. Um yeah, you hate it. It's not even a good movie. It makes Ruby look good. <laughs> Ruby season one. <laughs> that's a take. That's a take. I'm not saying I disagree with that, but that's that's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think the other thing too is uh Ruby doesn't Ruby wasn't ashamed at like just focusing on all the action and just saying forget the story, right? Because um the people involved knew what everyone was there for. Uh they they were there for the action. They weren't there for some exposition. Uh but they had to try to make it look like they they cared about the story <laughs> to some degree. It's amusing. Um, you already know you hate Strive. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness, I'm so with you there. You, 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 you had me at hate Strive. You don't even need to say any further. <laughs> yeah. Um, Strive. I still think it got lucky, and it's not a bad thing that it got lucky. I feel like a lot of fighting games kind of need to get lucky these days to succeed. But Strive certainly got lucky. It, it it had the exactly favorable circumstances for it to succeed. Rollback with no other fighting games around at the time during COVID. And it so happened to be uh, Arc System Works, who had already had a good track record with... Uh, uh, let's actually start this over. Hold up. Um, 
Arsis and Mercy already, who already had a good track record and reputation with Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, and then, of course, all the Twitter marketing with uh, Jacko and um, and uh, Bridget. All those things. Um, all of those things allowed for it to succeed, pretty much. Oops. Trying to do the prologue properly, that's why we restarted. Ah. Here we go. Yeah, PS PS One intro sounds my beloved. Let's go, base. Now, nah, th dude, this this prologue is so famous. It's great. It's Symphony of the Night, after all. Okay. Not bad. Yep. Two stacks. Let's go. Really good. That's actually my fastest prologue, I think. Yeah, the other thing, too, is uh, when you watch, like, um, when you watch, like, YouTube stuff, right? People oftentimes search for things like Byakuya versus Ichigo Bleach. Like, they look for just that fight, right? And obviously, those are those are moments in the animes or their respective series that are extremely high highs for the the series, right? So of course, people are, gonna, people are gonna search for it. But at the end of the day, people just want entertainment. That that's what it comes down to, you know. Uh, I think it's as simple as that. So okay, this is not a bad start. Okay, two shots for Rinsor. Oh, the zombie spawn was so bad there. All right, but yeah, uh, we're, I, I forgot to kind of introduce when we started playing Soden, but we're doing safe again today. Garden G sucks. Uh, I, I I did not like that seed we had last time, and I feel like that's like the story of Garden OG in general. I don't feel like it's gonna be any different than we experienced that time. So I don't know if I'll play it again on stream at least. If you see me racing it for some reason, then uh, you'll know that I was compelled to do it. Um, out of my own will. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but yeah. Oh, stream post are nice. But yeah, uh, I, I I still feel like you can focus on the good parts about whatever you're doing or whatever people enjoy and not have to compromise on everything else that also makes the game fun to play. Like, MGS can still have all the cool spectacle with the cutscenes and all that stuff while still being... Oh, well, oh my goodness, that's not good. While still being a well acclaimed game. Right? But Strive did not need to do the same. Like, that was ridiculous with the story mode. And I don't even think Strive is good to begin with, so there's that too. <laughs> Stone Sword is pretty good. Wait, actually, that might not be Stone Sword. That might be something else. Because we're playing safe. <clears throat> so, pretty typical start of safe so far. No relic of importance at Cube. No weapon either. Actually, stone sword might be a weapon, but it looks like a short, short dagger. So, I'm not sure. We'll just use the fist for now until we know further. I'll probably put on the armor before slaughter a Gaibon. Oh my goodness, another holy mail, where or whatever that is. I like checking those for drops too, because uh, you never know; they could be hiding good stuff. I shouldn't have done that. Uh, it's it's always tricky with that one because you don't want to get poisoned, but also you want to kind of just eliminate the problem in the first place. I'm actually going to put on the armor right now, whatever it is. Okay, it is holy armor. Or holy mail, whatever it is. <clears throat> May petrify enemies. Uh, I mean... Uh, mm. It's not bad, but I think I'll just stick with the fist. The fists are going to do 14 by themselves, so I have good strength. Uh, that means with the double hit, we'll still be kind of doing enough against uh, the boss. Huh. 
There we go. We got the Tetris Spirit. Okay, this should be a quick fight. Let's go. <laughs> That's what it's supposed to look like when you hit the spell. So maybe I should just take my time and do the spell from a little farther away. That's how we should approach it, maybe. <clears throat> finally, oh, <laughs> I was going to say finally an item there and it ended up just being a heart max, unfortunate. Did I forget anything on the... Okay, I didn't. I was going to say, did I forget anything on the layout? But I kind of did that uh, layout change as the speedrun itself while also talking. So that was a first. Bekatoa. Go away. <laughs> uh, that could be gravity boots. I didn't see it clearly, but let's check. It is gravity boots. Rare moment where Spirit Orb has something in safe. Uh, should we go back through Alchemy Lab right now? Uh, I don't think so. I think we just keep going still. Because we're going to have to loop back around anyway, eventually. So It is kind of weird, though. Because uh, it is right there. It's not. It's really not... Oops, I keep doing that. It's really not that far to just check, like, Slogger and Gaibon right now. But, yeah, we'll leave it for, for later. Men are always so annoying. <laughs> Man. Yeah, if you want to talk about games that are like just raw, good raw gameplay, Simi the Night's always going to be up there for sure. It, it aged so well. It's it's insane. Even with all these old old game glitches, uh, it's still, it still has a lot of emergent gameplay stuff that I think make it perfect for like just randomizer or even just. Uh, I, I should say it like this. Even for speedruns or even just randomizer like randomizer really takes this game for forth in my opinion because there's, just, there's just so, so much in the game for no reason a lot of it's just for the heck of it it's like uh yeah let's just put uh let's just put some crazy items and food as enemy drops because why not and then a lot of like some of the secrets that you would find uh like typically in old games like uh being able to watch the oarsmen from the t from the bottom of outer wall it's like why do they have that in the game but no it's really cool because it's another thing that people can tell their friends about as like a secret you know so that's sort of that sort of stuff if it's like optional of course uh it's like a thing that you can find for being thorough and is that a varda hold up no okay Unfortunate. Also, what's the Bekatoa? Oh my. This, is this the third or what seed in a row where we get literal Chrysogram? Wow. I should have checked that earlier. Okay, this is an awkward gravity jump. There we go. I think this is like, this has got to be like the third or fourth seed in a row where we get Chrysogram. Ah, darn. At least we get to skip Doppelganger, though. And if, even if we were to beat, or even if we had to face him, like, Chris Kermit would make it so fast.
Do nothing here. I mean, yeah, we already have gravity boots, so it's not surprising. Uh, library card, maybe? Come on, come on. Ah, oh, darn. <laughs> the classic. Whoever decided to make them the same sprite, genius. It's the, like, the ultra genius bait. You gotta reload the room so that the elevator comes up. But yeah, um... I'm just baffled. That's like... I think I, I think that's the third seed in a row we got Christopher Grimm in early too. So um, it's gonna kind of invalidate a lot of these item checks. Ice brand, hold up. What? I I kind of want to use ice brand instead. Yeah, yeah. It even has more base attack, but it's not like Christopher Grimm is gonna be lower attack anyway. I just want to use something different for once. <laughs> ice brand's not that bad to begin with. Oh, a Vlad? Wow. Okay, there we go. Echo. Uh, we'll take it. Sure, why not? Also, that had the God's Garb sprite. We can just check quickly. What was that? Okay, never mind. Ends up being useless. We have no money, but we're still gonna check library because it's right here. But we basically have no money anyway. Unless, okay, we did find 150, I guess. Yeah, no, ah, oh, library card 4K. Well, what can we have done about that, really? Um, okay, let's see. Jewel Sword for real. Jewel Knuckles. Powerful Sword of Flame. Uh, Goddess Shield. Knight Shield. Yeah, I mean, the shop is not great, except for the library cards, anyway. Uh, that's Mystic Pendant. Not bad, I guess. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, this shop is not good anyway. Alright, we'll come back for library cards, which is awkward, but, you know, what, what, what can we do about it? They're 4k each, too, so it's like not, it's not like they're cheap. Curse doesn't matter because uh, it's going to go away when we um, leave the area. Looks like it's already away anyway. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, back to Alchemy Lab we go. Probably looking for Jewel here. Is Keep open? Keep is open, isn't it? We could delay going to Alchemy Lab, actually, and go through Coliseum to Keep. I actually think I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. So we get the warp here, at least. Uh, that, this is not a waste of time. This is just me. This is just like a hard call for like, yeah, uh, we can try seeing if Keep has something. You just want to do something a little different from normal. Oh, my God. 
four shots to die? Wow. Crazy. Does it resist or something? Probably does resist. Ice. Because that's, that's actually crazy. That takes four shots to kill. The, um, the Diplo. Those active frames, wow. Alright. Uh, this is... Oh, that is not the jump that we want to do. This is uh, on the way to the Coliseum, so try to get this done, and then we should be able to um, make our way back to Alchemy Lab in case this is not where we find the check. Attack potion. Okay, that one says it's the Crystal Grim, but I think it's lying. Let's see. Sword of Ancient Rome, of course. I mean, we have the real Crystal Grim already, so... Um, we already know that that's not Crystal Grim. Oh, come on. Really? Uh, I, I wanted to get the warp, that's the issue. So I might have to fight this guy. Darn. Alright, let's reload from here. No, no, no! <laughs> There we go. Alright. Should be good. <laughs> almost, uh, I don't know if Ice Brand uses mana, but that was almost a little bad. These item checks are still useful, because if we find, like, a Thrust Sword, then we have full flight out of logic. So it's like not a bad idea to keep checking items. That's really the only thing we can find at this point since we already have Christogram. Uh, and I guess library card would be good too, but we, we know that those are in the shop. Ah, there's Jewel. Oh, yeah. Well, for once, the gamble we made was correct. So I feel like we can just skip Alchemy Lab altogether. The only thing Alchemy Lab can have that we would, would we would have missed at this point is, uh... Oh, my goodness. Go away. Go away. Get out of here. Yeah, sorry. The only thing that Alchemy Lab could have that we would have missed is a Vlad. Which we would know when we know. But for now, I'm not going to go back to Alchemy Lab whatsoever. There's just very low chance that it has anything valuable. I shouldn't have d done that. Uh, we're going to open the shortcut, and then we're going to save, because that'll be our first save. So. What is this? Rapier. It's not a bad idea to save before um, Minotaur Wa Werewolf, because this is a legit boss, especially at this stage of the game. Uh, a lot of new players have a hard time with it, and I still have a hard time with it, too. But with the cutscene skip, we can kind of cheese a little bit. Oh, okay. Uh, this is not good. I could actually die. 
<laughs> okay, yeah, you did die. I should have soul steeled or used a uh, high potion. I'll use Chrysogram instead of Ice Brand. Because, yeah, obviously Chrysogram is going to do way better. Chrysogram should kill the Minotaur, like, right away. I did everything else properly in the fight, but um, didn't wasn't able to kill Werewolf fast enough, so... Or uh, Minotaur fast enough, so um, it got out of hand. But yeah, we can just equip uh, Chrysogram. <laughs> There's no reason not to use it. In fact, let's put it in the right hand. What? Oh, that's not Chris. I got baited by what I, I said myself. That's not Chris's room. <laughs> there we go. This is not a real dash cancel. I mean, it kind of is, but it's not as good as Forble Blade's dash cancel. Yeah, see, much better. Okay, so we're going straight to keep. I mean, we can just go straight down, but I want to have something to show for this, in quotation marks. Uh, so I'm going to go to keep and get the warp. That's what I mean by something to show for it. Like, we at least get some value out of going to Coliseum right away, and we also get a keep check. But obviously, like, going, uh, going down, going to caverns is the next play, but... Um, since we're already close to keep, like, this is fine to do. It's, it's a little bit of a double down. If you want to think of it like in randomizer play. Or, not randomizer play, we are doing randomizer. In a race context, rather. But yeah. You gotta head out? Yeah, no problem, dude. Yeah, I really appreciate your coming through to check out the stream. Yeah, thanks for chatting. If you're, um, if you're ever live on Twitch again, uh, I should be there, because I'm basically on... Tw I'm a Twitch stream monster now, <laughs> basically, so yeah. But yeah, uh, I'll catch you later. Have a good one. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep, see ya, see ya. Oh, we don't need to get this life max because we already did the cutscene. Or we already did the uh, Coliseum fight, rather, but yeah. Yeah, C's going well so far, I think. We, well, I mean, we just gamble correctly the first, like the at the first real like juncture. Okay, there's nothing here, so um, we'll just go down the caverns right away. Get the warp, obviously, and then go down. I still haven't figured out whether it's faster to go from all rocks or from outer wall. I mean, Aurox looks faster, but then the long room takes forever. That's the thing. I'll just do. I'll just do Aurox. Maybe I can like uh, look at this time on my own and then determine. But yeah, this one like it doesn't look like it has as much distance, but then it's like going like in, around in a circle, kinda. <coughs> Come on. <laughs> 
Honestly, outer wall might be faster. <laughs> Going all this way around does seem like a bit of a pain. The only the only thing about outer wall is just that long room, which uh, if you have good movement, then that long room isn't that bad. It's not even that bad to begin with. It's just uh, the fact that it's long. <laughs> but I think that I think that's faster still. Item check here. Uh, not worth it. Okay, Scylla Merman, standard stuff. Oh no. Okay, barely got the second one. Okay. <laughs> this is Chris the Grim right there. <laughs> Whoa. So we're we going back to Aurox then? We do have out of logic flight, so we could go to Aurox right now. Uh, we can check Succubus before doing Merman. We can do a lot of stuff, basically. We, we have out of logic flight, so. Certainly not a bad thing. And because we have gravity boots, going back up to check uh, Succubus isn't that bad. Could have used Wolf in that room, I guess, but it's fine. No big deal. Oh, oops. <laughs> Dark shield. Okay, finally. A shield. Let's go. Uh, it's literally dark shield. Nice. Shield potions are not bad. What is that? I don't know what that is, to be honest. So, uh, not so uh, succubus time. Um, finding a shield there was good. That means, honestly, I'm not really compelled to go back to the library at any time until uh, in, in, until it's time to check Solabat or something. I don't think we need to do anything do anything there right now. Ow! Ow! There we go. You know, when she goes high in the air, it's a little annoying without double jump, but fortunately we're good. Fortunately we're good. Okay, it's a Vlad. Never a bad call to find a Vlad. Um, 
um, so merman, right? Uh, we can save split that. Say split Merman. I mean, we can also just skip Merman, I think, actually. Hold up. Let's skip Merman. We've already found good value, which is Wolf. We don't really care about what's supposed to be in Logic unless it's literally Bat, which is very unlikely. It's probably just Leapstone. Which Leapstone would be good, yeah, but I don't think it's... It's, like, still not really something that we need to bother ourselves with because we already have uh, Flight, basically. Oh no. Okay, we're good, we're good. The other good part about saving is that in case you die, uh, you still get another chance on Curse. <clears throat> Problem with this is that we don't unlock entrance, so it's gonna be interesting if Merman ends up having something, but I think we can skip Merman still safely. Okay, demon card, let's see what you got. This is out of logic though, so again, this is a little risky actually, now that I think about it. Oh, we should actually check Merman. Because, hmm. uh. Hmm. Merman probably has. No, but Merman just had flight. And it's probably just Leapstone, so. So yeah, I think we're, we still made the right move, actually. Now. Okay. This is interesting. This is interesting. Um, yeah, no, Merman has to have flight, literally. Hmm. And it could be like, it could like the only thing that would really body us is if it's bat. So I think it's safe to still go to all rocks now. Leapstone is good. Don't get me wrong, but. Man, I feel like I'm talking myself into a bad position. Like, uh, uh. it's okay. It's okay. We're already at all rocks now, so it's kind of too late to have regrets. I think the time spent getting Leapstone is not worth it compared to just moving on right away. Like we save a lot of time by moving on right away. Wait, can uh, can Wolf not like do the bite? I guess not. It's fine. She'll she'll dash in as fast enough here. Not worth. Beat up all rocks. Of course, we can make this way faster with Chrysogram, but let's try to do this without Chrysogram for now. Ice Brain isn't even that bad. Base 2. Ow. Ow.
stop it. That's the most we'll ever get to see of all Rox's attacks on this channel. <laughs> So, Wolf was not part of the progression chain. Uh, well, I guess that means for sure that we know that Leapstone was at Merman. So yeah, we're, we're in a good spot still. I guess Merman could have been vanilla, which would be interesting, but that, that would be unlikely too. Like, I really doubt it would have been vanilla. It was probably just Leapstone. I'll take Spirit Orb. Okay. Uh, man. This All Rock strip didn't have too much. Uh, it wouldn't make much sense to go manually. Hmm. I'm trying to think how we should go to keep. Honestly, we just have to go manually. That's faster than trying to go back to the warp, I believe, at least. And at least we get the shortcut in case we really need it. Oh, this thing is not one sh okay well yeah yeah let's just use the chrysogram <laughs> it doesn't even one shot this guy so go to um, fire of bat if there's nothing here at the flight checks. And then we would go to uh, gravity boots, I guess. Last resort. Oh, come on. But we have the warps to work with, so we're not in like a bad position really. You love that. Alright, here we go. Hmm. That's not good.
Uh, really. <laughs> Looked like I had it lined up good. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Yikers. Um, alright, let's go to Fire Bat. Oh, wait, we found Echo, didn't we? Ah, this could be Bat at Merman. That would be... Oh, that would be really bad. I should not have skipped Merman. Uh... <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> could be Bat. But I forgot we found Echo. Man, okay. All right, all right. Let's let's go to let's go to clock room, and uh, from there we'll check gravity boots and then go back down to check Merman. <laughs> but I forgot. Um, it's actually still fast to check Fire Bat though. Like that one is not going to lose that much time. So let's just check Fire Bat quickly from Outer Wall. But yeah, ah. Oh. I forgot that we picked up Echo. Echo is in logic, so. Let's open this up before doing that, though. Wow. That, uh, that's brutal. 42 minutes in, and we're still missing quite a few stuff. And Echo was behind Gravity Boots, wasn't it? Hmm. Yeah, this is a weird position. Because uh, we saw... Hmm. We saw uh, Keep had nothing. Keep had literally nothing. All of Keep was barren. So this is a weird position. Yeah, yeah. Not surprised. Yeah, it's bad. Probably at Merman. And this is one of those rare seeds where you get bad early and then you gotta check Spike Breaker, so. Okay, let's just go there. Uh, we can just go there from here. No biggie. Skill of Wolf is kind of nice, I guess. Consolation prize. But yeah, Merman had bat, probably. Skill a wolf to turn it iframes through these diplos. Oh, that's fine. Let's just keep going. Honestly, what I was trying to do, though, wasn't entirely a bad play, but it was risky given that we did find Echo early. Okay, yeah. Let's just get Merman check out of the way now.
Should probably tap up before we go. Because 75 is a little low to go there with without that. that jump. I should have held uh, the jump button a little longer. Monster Vile. That could be good, actually. Yeah, it's bat here. Has to be bat. Unless Alchemy Lab has something, which I doubt. It, it doesn't make any sense for it to have anything. I guess entrance, but entrance is out of logic as well. Oh, Leapstone. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I got baited. Wait, so it was entrance or grand flume? Wow, I got actually baited. It's a good thing I opened the entrance shortcut because this is rough. Thankfully entrance is right here though. It's like not a big deal. go back down it's not maybe it's not that bad it kind of worked out but that means if we checked uh i mean i don't know what i would have been compelled to do if things that worked out differently it's hard to say Oh no, you hate to see it. So, ah, oh, probably Grand Flynn. Or, or Alchemy Lab is one of the rings. Well, entrance was required, so it's like, again, we didn't really get bodied that much. still happen? Wow. Oh, we don't need to do that anymore, right? I mean, uh, Grand Falloon or Entrance? I feel like we save split, right? 
<clears throat> wow, what a terrible position to be in. I'm gonna do Alchemy Lab first, since if, if it ends up having the relics, it'll be on the way. It'll be on the way to, uh... Um, clock room. Oh, there it is. Yeah. I think so, at least. Okay. So, uh, Alchemy Lab ended up being required, I guess. Honestly, we can... Nah, it's faster to keep going. Wow, it is so hard to get the right sp space for this. So that's the Varda description, but it doesn't do anything. So that's amusing. Any of these do anything? Nope. Probably bad, right? Yeah, very unusual seed. Not not like I'm not gonna say it's a bad seed, but it's unusual. I'm surprised the checks we targeted at first didn't work out, but you know, we skipped Alchemy Lab. It was oh no. Oh uh, we're gonna have to work to get bad, aren't we? Alright. Now we gotta go through second castle all of which is on the same layer to look for just one relic honestly though uh, okay I don't know how come I can't make it what okay somehow made it in there finally yeah, but we gotta go all through Second Castle to find Mist, maybe Bat, maybe Merman, maybe Spike Breaker. You never know until you find it. Well, Spike Breaker wouldn't be a good thing to find, to be honest, because uh, cause we're looking for Mist together with Bat. 
Yeah, this is awkward. So what layer are we on? Uh, it was layer one, gravity boots. Layer two, jewel. Plus, uh, well, we don't know what Echo is right now. So layer two, jewel. Um, layer three, leapstone. Layer four, ring. Layer five, holy glasses. How is he not dead? Layer five, holy glasses. So, hmm. Layer six is second castle. We're not sure what we're gonna find. Yeah, hard to say. <clears throat> We just got bodied, uh, you know, it was entrance all along. It was entrance all along. As well as Alchemy Lab, you know, what, what, what can you do about that? Yeah, I'm not sure what I really could have done differently. Because now we're going to have to go back to First Castle no matter what. And uh, we have no great means of getting the library card right now. We couldn't afford it in the first trip, so it's not looking good. Alright, uh, oops. Holy glasses. <clears throat> Alright, uh, sorry guys, I'm gonna turn off camera for the rest of stream, so you'll be seeing, uh, Rachel PNG for taking my place. <laughs> Where are we? No. We what going? have I done? <laughs> no. What have I done? No, not the Richter voice acting. Might as well go in here and just see. Heart Max. Oh, give me the cloak. We want some something cool and different. Oh, come on. Wow, really? <laughs> I really got a dive kick and then slid off to get the worst jump in the, wo in the world. This is a really bad position. I feel like we just go right side, but I don't know what you guys think. Uh, I'll, I'll probably go right side. Probably go right side. I know you guys want the content, but oh my goodness, this Chrysogram does no damage. It's only carried by the fact that it's a Chrysogram. Cube is always nice. Yeah, we'll go right side. 
it's just rough. It's crazy. It's all stopwatch, right? Oh, darn. Uh, of course that happened. Of course. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Okay. Let me just, like, skill of wolf through these. Ah, come on. Oh, that doesn't work. Wow. I do have Uncurse, but I also am just about to die straight up, so. Uh, I think I have only one potion or something. Like, high potion? Yeah. Oh, I have two high potions. Okay, perfect. Wow. Like, actually brutal. Got bodied. I guess Skull of Wolf doesn't really work on those enemies. Take it. Oh, come on. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. This doesn't even affect these enemies. This is not hilarious. It's like now we have enough money to buy a library card when we are already at the point where a library card wouldn't be great. Okay, I guess having Wolf is useful here because now we can check Aquadon. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to. Oh, I forgot about this room. This is not what I wanted to do, but I forgot that it's a thing. Uh, yeah, none of these change the stats. Go, Chris Grimm, go. my dive kick there.
Ah, of course when I go right side it doesn't work. Alright, that's uh, 0 for 2. So, we just got Trio, pretty much. Let's see how it goes. Oh, I'm up, I'm about to die. Oh my goodness. That Alucard shield is such a bait. All right, we got to use the other high potion already. And let's while we're at it, let's use shield potion. Really? Okay, library card would be nice, so I'm just gonna check. Alright, yeah, nothing. This is concerning. Oh no. Oh my goodness, really. All right, get me out of there. I don't have enough for soul steel, so we should probably just kill these uh werewolves. Okay, not so bad. got trio please oh my goodness the the time I go right side it's got nothing right side is just bad it's just bad I don't know what else to say that's the natural conclusion from this oh my goodness really yeah right side is just just bad Uh, I'm gonna grab that health max. Oh, this fight! Oh, I forgot! Oh man, Bees is gonna be such an awful fight. We probably should have saved. Let's save, let's save. Oh, there's a save room closer, actually. Never mind. We can just keep going. Oh, this, this fight is gonna suck, because, uh... 
we don't have... Oh, there's enemies in this room. I didn't even realize. Oh, no. Wait, huh? Where's the save room? Oh, it's on the other side. Yeah, we should save here. Because <laughs> bees is a little annoying. With what I've got right now. Yeah, this seat is uh, gonna be rough because we went right side when the one time it didn't have anything. Alright. What am I even gonna use for this fight? I guess just Chrysogram and gravity jumps, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my goodness. Of course. I did not try to gravity jump that direction, but... Uh, I don't think that's not... That's not what I wanted, but if it works, it works. Ow. Okay, what? Oh my goodness. No! Oh my goodness. Please. Please. I'm so close. Okay, wow. Almost died there. At the very end. And of course I got poisoned. Uh, okay, alright. Okay. What's up with this? So right side is just has nothing. Ah. I should I should save. Or not save, but like go to the save room. Oh no. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Soul steel, please, please. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, let's let's get out of here. Oh, this is so annoying. So it was a left side seed, of course. The seed that I. Try to go right side, it's a left side seed. We're gonna be here forever. Oh my goodness. Like legit, we're gonna be here forever. Oh no, my stopwatch. Okay. Uh, this is kind of rough. Ah, oh, darn. These rooms you don't want to mess with, so I'm, I'm going to power wolf through them. Good that we got that. Oh no. Really? Yeah, super rough. Like, I mean, sometimes you just guess wrong, but the only time I guessed correctly in this seed was for the second layer. The second layer check. 
of the sea. I should fill up, realistically. And just save in general, because it's doppelganger. Save split's going to be for a uh, checking force of Echo, I guess. Alright, stopwatch, Chrysogrim. Oh my goodness. Uh, should we go back now? Yeah, this is a left side seat, all right. Wow. What's like the worst case scenario? I don't think we need to go back. I think we just got a full clear except Gallimoth. Let me just soul steal. Oh, I got pushed out. Well, never mind. Really? of Vlad too. Oh, this really sucks. Yeah, at this point we just got a full clear, except for Gallimard.
Mm. I'm crying. Just imagine the Rachel PNG, but with the with the tears. That's me right now. Skipped creature, but that might not have been a good idea. That's the thing, too. But I don't know what we're really supposed to do do here. Because otherwise we're just, like, kind of going around aimlessly in the castle. Library card means going back to. Oh man, this is just so bad now. I honestly don't even want to finish this seed because it's 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 uh it's getting worse every passing minute now. An hour twenty three and we're nowhere nowhere done nowhere near done finishing. So also I just went the wrong way. So we're fighting Crossmon for no reason. <clears throat> Don't worry, all bosses, all bosses randomizer. Trust, trust. One second, guys. We should do entrance. That's right. Is that faster? Maybe. I'll just do outer wall. Just awful. You know what? We should just buy a library card right now. Buy a few. Otherwise, this seed is just going to be worse. Because inevitably, we'll be coming back. that we missed 
that we should probably try to get. Power of Sire. Oh, 200 for Power of Sire. Easy. Free. Well, we can buy five more of those, to be honest. And then Monster Vial. I saw it in the shop. It's 2k. Alright. We'll buy three. And then... Uh, I didn't see any of these be useful, more useful than Christogram, so... Yeah. We'll just uh, skip on them. Uh, I mean, there's defense up. Those would be useful, but it's like we're so late in the seed. Okay, never mind. That's useful. Uh, that one. In fact, can we buy two of them? What can I do for? I'm interested in this. This. Thank you. I'm interested in this. Yeah, okay. Farewell for Should have probably bought another library card just in case, but I think two should be enough. The merman is layer uh, s layer five, I think I said. Yeah, it has to be layer five. Oh, this sea is nowhere near done. Wow. Like, actually nowhere near done. Uh, it's crazy how bodies we got. Sword, never mind. I was gonna say. Oh, it's bat. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright. So it's vanilla spike breaker, probably. Probably vanilla spike breaker, which is not exciting. I guess it could be missed at spike breaker, too. Actually, no, it has to be missed. So, Bat was layer 6, Mist layer 7, Spike Breaker layer 8, Final Vlad 9. So, yeah, let's let's go grab Mist from Spike Breaker location. Oh, come on. Oh, that's brutal. What an evil seed.
I guess. Wait. Oh, no, we do need mist still. I was going to say. I was like, eh, if we know this is mist, we could try to go to silver ring right now. But now nah, we need mist for silver ring. We're still missing one random Vlad, though. Ah, what are the odds it's Grand Floon that has the random Vlad? That's that's problematic, actually. We probably should save split. Oh, no. I forgot. We don't have uh, Echo. Or uh, Spike Breaker. Oh, no way. Okay, nice. We spend a library card here for sure. Uh, actually, no, we don't because we got to check our influence. Ah, yikes. Yeah, I got to save mana then. Life max, I don't mind. Oh, MP refill glitch. Oh my goodness. Insane. Like that that's that's ridiculous. That's just what I needed. MP refill glitch goes crazy. Uh, wrong way. Because we gotta go check Grand Flame. It is on the table. I know Grand Flame skip funny, but there's literally one missing Vlad, so. Kill him quickly. Nice. Then if uh, Grand Floon has nothing, then we just library card. Silver Ring, uh, library card, second ca Oh my goodness. Oh, always baited by Grand Flynn, as usual. He's never got anything. All right, so it's Creature straight up, which is messed up. Do I have enough mana for a wing smash? I don't even. So I think all rocks. Wait, what would be the fastest way there? Oh, I don't even know. I'm thinking all rocks through Coliseum. Actually, I, I think I've asked that to myself before, and it was all rocks to Coliseum. Wow, this no, we just got bodied the seed. Cause oh man, I skipped. Oh, I skipped Slogger Gaibon. 
Which could have the Vlad. Oh man. Uh, not slogger. I shouldn't say slogger grab on, but like the, the the check that's there. Wow, it's faster to check that than check creature though. So I probably should. Oh wow, that's really bad. We got to save with that for sure. Oh, where am I going? Yikes. Yeah. Oh, this is really bad then. I should fill up here. Okay. Silver ring. Final Vlad. Oh, I forgot to equip iframes. Uh, uncurse, where's uncurse? There we go. That was clutch, pause. Right on time. Yep, final lad. Uh, where's my library card? All right, uh, so what an awkward position. So we had a 50-50 between creature and the, 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 the check that I skipped in Alchemy Lab, which I probably should have just gone to in hindsight, obviously, but. What a interesting seed. I shouldn't say bad. It wasn't that bad, but of course I'm saying it's bad because I made the wrong choices, you know. I mean, it's faster to check Alchemy Lab, obviously, but that's just a pain still. We gotta safe split it. I'm trying to think of what's the... F I think the best save room is right here. Oh, hold up. No, actually... Oh, no, yeah, this would be the best save room for it. Definitely out of saves with this. Then we'll quickly do Alchemy Lab. It's gonna be it's this is looking like some of my old safe times. My uh, old safe seed times. Oh, 
The worst part is if it's here. I should have just checked while I was already doing the uh, the rings check earlier. It's just gonna feel so bad. Oh, come on. Serve mana a little bit. Oh my goodness. Well, that's better than creature, to be honest, but that feels so bad. That this ended up having a blast. So Alchemy Lab was not skippable this seed. <laughs> uh, also, let me fill up. Alky Lab straight up had value both ways. A Vlad and a ring that was acquired. Unfortunate for me, who skipped. Wait, so I basically just full cleared except for Gallimoth and Creature. That's ridiculous. This is a moment where sometimes you guess right, sometimes you don't. I guess wrong on everything. Even guessing wrong on, thought, th on thinking that I had guessed wrong on Merman, because Merman didn't have Bat, but it had uh, Leapstone. I guess uh, it wouldn't be enough complexity to have uh, Bat. I don't know. I'm just kind of coping at this point. Probably should have used the save room that was below, but it's all good. I think we have enough mana. Probably tap before going to second castle. Uh, I mean, should we? We probably have enough, actually. We could, we could probably get away with just doing it in second castle. The tap. Swing smash. That saved a lot of mana. So yeah, this was left side. Thankfully, skipping creature was viable, but... This is a left side seat still.
Let me use an attack potion. Don't I have one? I don't have one. I do. Yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, vial stacking time. Hi. Where's my monster vials? Come on now. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We got ten power of size. Let's make it. Let's make it happen. Oh, that's too late. Yeah, this is not good. Let me use Christogram. I missed it so badly. Where's my Christogram? Uh, those are not Christogram. Where is it? Uh, what happened to it? Did it vanish? Oh, there it is. Yeah, Th those things at the bottom are just hard to see. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna loop. Hey, what's up, Robo? Uh, nah, this seed sucked. I'm so glad it's done. No, oh, okay, more like I I'm salty. I made the wrong gambles and got punished for it badly. Like basically every gamble was wrong, so so it was rough. Good luck. We're trying to fall asleep. Sounds good. Sounds good. Hope your stream went well. I saw it was Isaac for a bit. I'm going to be playing Isaac soon here, once we're done with the C. But yeah, I hope the run's been well. We did play some After Image earlier, uh, GG's. We did play some After Image earlier, um, and it went really well. Like, I think I'm feeling a lot better on Renee than I did before. Do we like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. You had some Eden runs? Yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Eden is a... Uh, Eden is a character I want to look into later, but I want to unlock more items before that. I do have some Eden tokens accumulating, so that that won't be much longer from now. Thanks for the GG. Yeah, uh, I was playing yesterday pretty late uh, in Eve Run, and uh, I like it wasn't on stream; it was off stream. But I barely kind of made it to warm too, and I actually almost threw. Like I took dead cat, even though I had, I think I had nine heart containers, red heart containers, which I shouldn't have, but I didn't go for double room in that run, and uh, so I had nine red heart containers, right? And then I took dead cat on accident, or I shouldn't say on accident. It was more like a mental mistake. Like I was like, oh, dead cat, but then realized just before I had already taken it. That, oh yeah, this is going to reduce my red hearts to one. So it ended up being pretty bad. Like, I I think I died like eight times before finally beating Mom's Heart. I had to do a hit list, basically. Uh, but, yeah, that was interesting. 
I do want to get better at Eve now that I've unlocked uh, Razor Blade as a starting item. But, you know, once I graduate from these characters, I can probably play some Eden. Eden seems to be where it's at for this game, because he's like completely random. Which is really cool. By the way, while you're here, did uh, um, if you managed to catch the what I posted in ideas and feedback uh, yesterday, um, feel free to let me know, or not let me know, but like feel free to say your thoughts. Uh, so you made it. I think. On a card. I'm glad you're uh, all right. I'm sorry. It is my fault. I think you had we to can try to get a resolution because, like, w Fear when is the one-year anniversary I of the game? When you check. For destroying him. Must have been painful for you. Um, uh, like anyway, it doesn't like doesn't matter to the exact date. Regardless, though, uh, the only thing necessary for evil to triumph. I'm not sure how many people will join after the marathon. Okay, it's 24th. I'll be traveling by then, but uh, I'm not sure how many people are gonna be like turning into the game after the marathon. But you know, yeah, yeah, about the boat timing, yeah. Would be best for this yeah, uh, it's it's a it's a hard proposal to do, right? Because. We got to figure out how to frame it in the rules. But certainly I think we should acknowledge it because it's going to affect every single category. Obviously for categories like the pyro endings or uh, anything pyro ending or longer, it's not going to be as notable of a difference, right? But I mean, I shouldn't say that right now because like it's just because I'm saying that only because like no one's really run those categories. But a minute time loss for no reason is still pretty lame in any category. And there's not really any circumvention for any of the categories as far as we know. Seems e equally susceptible, and or equally susceptible to every category, regardless of like the route or whatever. And there's not really any way of knowing until the run is done and you get up to that point. Today, I didn't do a proper run, but I did segmented practice, and even in the segmented practice, the boat didn't work. And I didn't do anything particularly different. In fact, I think I walked up. Uh, I, I, For that matter, I walked up. I did a dive, uh, and then changed it to downward angle, and then walked up, and it didn't work. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, if, if we can figure out a way to... Like, if we can agree upon, you know implementing this as the timing method or like as an as an available timing method yeah yeah just like remove the boat times um then we can you know accordingly draft a ruling and then mark the times that are on the leaderboards right now um Yeah, and I think that would help a lot for just getting a more realistic time measurement for a lot of the runs we've been doing lately. I'm not sure if people like I'm not sure if people are practicing on their own or something, and they're running into the bug, and they're like, ah, right? Who knows? Who knows? No one's really submitted stuff. Uh, it's really just been me and you lately. I know Tam is playing the game, but he's not been doing like start to finish runs right now. Um, and Tate is doing offline runs, so. Yeah, we're not sure. As long as the rules are clear and times are verified correctly, there should be no issue. I agree, yeah. It's, it's just figuring out the wording so that it's not, like, unclear. I'll look at what Portal 1's leaderboards has, because that was where I got the idea from. Portal 1 has been removing loads for a long time. And it makes sense for that game, because it's an old game. People run it on various various degrees of, uh, of hardware. And low times are kind of obnoxious in that game, especially with all the saving and loading they do. <laughs> like, imagine having to account for that in the RTA. Just get a better computer. <laughs> Alright, let me get Isaac ready. Uh, just give me a second, guys. I'll leave the credits up, of course. The, the awful thing about this is that every time I let the credits play with the music, some r absolutely random group of people put a claim on this thing like i'm not even kidding like it's not even like anyone relates to konami or the singer from what i could tell just some random group from south america that puts a claim on this it's been annoying i've had i've had to counter not not claim but i don't know how to describe it like i've had to like dispute it every single time it's so annoying like i don't really care about like ad revenue for this channel obviously but 
it I do care about the nonsense that uh, YouTubers that make a living off of YouTube go through. It's just ridiculous that these people just basically troll the YouTube system because it's completely allowed. Anyway, before I before I go on a tangent there. Uh, let me see. Yeah, the conversation we had uh, earlier in the stream was pretty interesting. We were talking about uh, just video games. <laughs> um, I, I've been I've been appreciating a lot of indie games lately. After Mitch, not the least of which, of course. Um, and I'm starting to realize that yeah, we're we're kind of we're, we're in a weird spot for the gaming industry, despite AAA devs being relatively successful of late. Like, there's still been all the layoffs and stuff, and you have to wonder if, you know, the, the, the signs of trying to spit out, like, the same formula kind of games, like, you know, cutscene games with bloated content that aren't really, like, that profound in the long term. have to wonder whether that's uh, starting to have an effect of some kind. But um, Nightspeed was talking about, like, he's not been enjoying, like, some of the games that a lot of people enjoy these days and I'm like, ah, don't worry about that. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. All right, Isaac's ready. You still got Rachel Alucard uh, in place of the camera for now. Isaac there we go. Mother lived alone in a small house. Interesting new stealth indie just came out that you got your eye on. Um, are you referring to uh, oh, no, oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Stealth Indie. Yeah, I think I think stealth games, I can't say they're for me. Uh, like, I tried... Uh, well, okay. <laughs> um, I'm going to sound silly for saying this. When I tried Ori, the Blind Forest, and the Blind Race, and then a little bit offline, I didn't like the stealth section, and I'm like, hmm, I don't know if stealth would be for me. Arab and Shadow Legacy, I think it's called. Already got a speedrun Discord. Oh, wow. All right, all right. That sounds interesting. Yeah, if you do start running that game, uh, I'm definitely going to catch those runs. I haven't I haven't been... Uh, I haven't been watching too many speedruns outside of, like, Metroidvania speedruns lately, so <laughs> it would be good to change up the pace for myself. You're not sure what it's like to play yet, though? No, fair enough, fair enough. I mean, yeah, normally, like... It, people take their time to kind of figure out the game before getting right on like the speedrunning stuff. But if it's already got a speedrun Discord, then maybe the game is potentially big. Like, because that was the case for Prince of Persia. It had a speedrun Discord before the leaderboards even were officially uh, intact. In place, rather. But yeah. No, yeah, exciting though. Um, or, I mean, like, even if you don't speedrun it, like, if you do play it on stream, I'll definitely check it out. Okay, where did we last left off? Yesterday we did a couple of greed runs, and then we did, uh, I think, a regular hard mode run uh, that made it to the end. We gotta beat Momstar a couple more times before we make further progress realistically in the game. But one thing I kept deferring and ended up kind of biting me in the in the back was that uh, we didn't use the Dono machine at all, and there was a lot of leftover money that we had, which we shouldn't really have any spare money by the time we get to womb because it's not going to be that useful so i want to fix that for this run but razor blade's been feeling good to have so far i don't know if i'll go angel room again though it, it just felt kind of awkward to have so many red heart containers that i couldn't really make use of um so i think i'll skip out on angel or i'll not skip out but like i'll, I'll just go for devil room instead of angel room interesting start so far uh curse room is Worth keeping in mind, I guess. Oh, what a lovely room. I love these rooms. Alright, I shouldn't have path that way. It's all good. Learning opportunities. Oh, this is an awful start. I could die. <laughs> Alright, we're not dead. Somehow. <clears throat> you know, I've I've I must say, like I I have the most trouble I, I guess this is like just a 
randomized run thing for me. But I always like just have the most trouble on early floors. Or like I guess this is just in general, because this is the same with the blind races. I have trouble early. But like in this game too, like I just do really badly early on. And then like maybe from like caves and onward, things are fine. But like cellar and basement, especially basement, ugh, it's like super rough. I haven't played much cellar yet. This is like still like pretty recently that I unlocked it, but yeah, it's been kind of brutal. Ah, I wish we got bombs. Okay, a key, but no bombs still. You can snowball really hard with just a few good items. Yeah, that's a good point, though. You're definitely right about it. I've I've just been, like, having a major struggle with... I mean, even with, like, now Razor Blade unlocked, some of these rooms are just so compact. It's, it's brutal, you know? Yeah, limited damage, HP consumables. Yeah, no, you're definitely right. I mean, practicing the early game, I think the more I do runs, the more I'll get used to it. But it's still... Like, man, I, I distinctly struggle with early game stuff. And now it's kind of risky because I can't use Razor Blade to damage myself and have Dead Bird help out. So I just got to do this and try not to take any hits. Thankfully, uh, Babylon is giving us extra movement speed here. Okay, nice. Uh, we get some hearts too, that's good. I gotta save. Uh, darn it, I, th I think I gotta take this one though, right now. I'm gonna check Curse Room before we leave. There's not really much I can do on this floor, but Curse Room, if it has anything, then we can make use of it. Ah, well, that was useless. All right, we're out of here. Unfortunate. Okay, we gotta do this one hitless. Because we didn't get Soul Heart's last floor. Uh, we could check Curse Room, I guess. Uh, I don't think that's... I think that's too risky. Okay, I don't mind seeing just this. At least. Ah, where are the bombs? Lovely. Alright, let me use this. I Like, I could die, yeah, but I think I'd rather do that than take a hit proper from these guys. Yeah, that was kind of risky, actually. Oh my goodness, really. <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Wow, I got lucky there. I actually just could have been dead. All those all those moments. These spiders are just horrific. Oh, great. All right. We gotta kill these guys first. Ooh. Oh no. Darn. Alright, we're good, we're good. I'm so glad there was more open space in this room, because we would have certainly been dead <laughs> had there been even been like one rock in the middle or something. Oh, lucky. Oh my goodness, lucky, lucky. Wow. I mean, the, the, the wor I don't think... I think the worst case wouldn't have even been that bad. But the fact that we got three bombs from that and it was secret. Like that. That's a bailout. Uh, I gotta think about how to use the bombs though.
Yeah, Isaac moment, dude. Yeah, actually, though. Legit. Uh, what is this? Unknown. Yeah, I'd love to see it, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we'll certainly take it. I just gotta figure out what to bomb, because... No, I didn't see anything good on this floor yet to bomb, and I do want to get some health up before we go to the next room. I guess this. This is the best possible thing to bomb. Alright. Oh, very nice. Excellent. Uh... I guess... Just these two, and we'll leave the half heart. Okay, spiders. Lovely. Not. I'll kill this guy since he's coming towards me. These spiders aren't that bad, but they're spiders still. Everyone hates them. I do have spectral tears, which has been good. That's for sure. Nice. I kind of want to peek curse room since we found another red heart. Let's do that right now. Ah, of course. Darn. Uh, I mean, uh, we'll live, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, that's pretty good. Um, we're going to lose the other red heart, though. Okay, yeah, it's fine. I think it's better than the other si situation. <clears throat> Alright, let's keep going. Hand is slipping on that uh, analog stick right now. Too too crazy. Oh, I'm so glad all the spikes went away. All right, let's check shop. Uh, we can probably bomb this guy, but we can't take the uh, soul heart yet. I don't know. Should we find Super Secret instead? Uh, I'll I'll take this. It seems a little bit a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay. Let's fight the boss. Ah, not the spiders. My favorite bosses in video games. Darn. I'm not doing well in this fight right now. Yeah. I don't know how to position myself to, like, not get, like, ultra-bodied by this boss. Like, like, I'm gonna be honest, like, I have the most trouble on this boss than all the, like, uh, first floor bosses. It's interesting. Yeah, we'll go double this this uh this run, so uh definitely not that. <laughs> Alright. I don't think it's worth checking for super secret, so we'll just go. We'll just move on. <clears throat> boss challenge but curse of the loss which doesn't really matter uh, yeah we can do boss or not boss challenge yet challenge room, just challenge room. oh no <laughs> ah. 
I don't know if I should have picked up the Soul Heart just yet, but uh, it's not going to be a super punish anyway. We could have left it if it were possible. Thankfully, these on these rooms we can take our time. Oh, okay, never mind. This is, this is not the bad version of them. This is not the version that's as bad, in my opinion. The the beam version is the one that's like, bruh. <laughs> the Vs. Or whatever they're called. Oh, this is funny. Give me the circle. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was the hardest circle to draw in my life. Oh, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I deserve that. It's always the spiders. Ah, darn. I already closed myself off. We just gotta kill them before it gets bad. Okay, uh, we didn't have a lot of space in this room anyway. No map is kind of gonna kind of gonna suck. Uh, I gotta I gotta like really think about how the how these areas are being connected. Oh no! Ah ah. Movement, movement. Um, yeah, I, I won't. I don't think I'll look for super secret this floor. Uh, I think. Ah, darn. I was gonna. I was gonna apply razor blade, but too late now. Too late to, for it to have value. I got hit by the champion too. That's messed up. So I lose a soul heart for no reason right there. Darn. That's unbelievable. Ah, that's such a punish. Oh my goodness. Uh... There's the boss room. Um, I mean, one is that one bomb for three bombs? Anyway, <clears throat> wow, that's kind of that's kind of rough. I might want to use the pill soon, to just to see what it is, but I'm not in a hurry right now. Oh, great. No, that's not what I wanted to do, but all right. All right. We could have saved that, honestly, but uh, not a big deal. Yeah, I want to start thinking about where secret would be.
Or where either one would be. It's kind of hard to envision this in my head. Oh, right, we didn't explore a lot of this yet, so I guess that was a little bit premature. Oh, lovely. I mean, they're not hard, but they're annoying. <laughs> just still like so frustrated that I got hit by a champion in that other room it's like of course <laughs> um, darn well I might have to start checking these pills very soon oh great That's fine. Oh, careful, careful. Uh, trap room. Ah, it's so hard for me to judge when to go on these. Oh, I took damage still. Wow. Yeah, all right. Um, I, I, I think I just got to see these range up. Bombs are, Bombs are key. Well, whatever. Ugh, that sucks. Oh, great. Oh, I got lucky there. Wow. Ugh. All right, I'm going to give up on Super Secret. I guess Secret could have been near the item room, huh? tested this one well I'm running out of uh, ideas here like uh, I can't be there I guess here maybe that seems very weird that'll be my last attempt at it yeah yeah all right we'll move on unfortunate Oh, right, this. Uh, okay, we'll try. I think, is it supposed to be like a bridge or something? Okay. Hmm. 
that was not worth it. <laughs> yeah, losing that soul heart really sucks. No devil room. Well, getting the soul hearts back feels good at least. Alright, I'm out of here. Yeah, I'll have to figure out a better way to see the rooms without a map. Oh great. What a what a room layout. I guess our range is good though, so it won't matter too much. Oh great. This thing is a a sharpshooter. Well, we have a lot of range. Oh my goodness. Some of my favorite enemies right there. Not. Oh, I took damage from that, man. <laughs> this game is brutal. and a boss. I didn't expect to see the boss so soon. Uh, actually, let's just go to the shop right now. Um, all bomb drops come double bombs. think about that one. Oh my goodness, that thing moved fast. How? Silly me. <laughs> of course they put this chill room like as the last room that I went to. Kind of hard to think about what to do next year. I guess checking secret, if possible. Oh, never mind, never mind. <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> it's like a half. 
half brown, half red heart. Oh great. I should get rid of that map view. Because I can't see what I'm running into. Oh, these guys navigate around the fireplaces. Okay, I was going to say. I'm like, how? How? <laughs> they can't be that smart. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, I hate these rooms. Okay, we're good. We're good, though. Um, trying to think of what spider to do next. Probably this one. Okay, if this if this pill is balls of steel, that's gonna go insane. Ah oh, darn. We're still okay, I think, but that's a little rough. Arcade. Okay, we're gonna need to bomb these for sure. <laughs> Uh, try. Okay, uh, it could have been worse, I guess. Um, yikes. <laughs> yeah, losing that uh, soul heart was not a good idea. idea where super secret might be but uh, I don't want to spend more than like a few bombs on it actually I have only two anyway so because we just try one bomb and if I don't get it right then I don't get it right ah uh, yikers I'll buy a consolation bomb and that's it. <laughs> uh, it would be so nice to check curse room, but I'd have to do it losing half a soul heart. Which I don't know. That, that doesn't sound like a good idea. I actually probably want to skip devil this floor. It doesn't make any sense to go Devil Room anyway, so. Okay, this boss isn't that bad. I think that's what I would say. Come on, give me the circle. There we go. <laughs> I'm like, actually super nice for these early game bosses. 
Oh, that uh, 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 that changes things a little bit, but I I still think I gotta skip devil. <laughs> um, at least I feel safe for checking curse room. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. I could have maybe done the order of operations a little differently, but. At the end of the day, we're going to have to spend one red heart. Or, no, two red hearts. Yeah, to keep the soul heart. Oh, and look at that. There's nothing here. Oh, I was too close to the door. Shame on me. That's uh, unfortunate. All right, well... That's a bummer. Hmm. Okay. Yikes. This is not a good run <laughs> so far. I don't know how else to say it. It's not good. Simple as that. Uh, could be worth. I guess we can come back to those later. No rush. Interesting. Oh, great. Okay, this this could be decent. All right, nice, nice. Oh, remove remove that from the screen, please. Thank you. Oh my goodness, how did I not take damage there? What? Oh my goodness, there goes my... Ah, darn. Yeah, all right, well, we tried. Doing doing floors hitless is, or at least red heart hitless is not easy. That's for sure. I could have, I guess, razor blade as an emergency, but like, I'm already pretty in a weird position. I don't want to lose one full red heart like this. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's it's kind of hard to think about how to approach that. Okay, we can check this. I think it won't be that bad. Yeah, it's like, whatever. We get the key back anyway. Oh, great. They have rooms like this. Why? Like, actually, why? This is ridiculous.
What is this? Monster manual. Book of Sin. Really? Yeah, this has been such an underpowered run, I must say. We'll leave the razor blade for now. Oh, great. Okay. Sure. Sure. Oh my goodness, all these active items. Where are the regular items? Oh, and no shop either. Give me my no shop. Absolute absurdity. Alright. We can check curse room with relative comfort now. Not ease, but comfort. Which is something. There's the soul heart. Wow. A little too late for that, don't you think? A super secret? Hmm. Where would it be then? I guess here. Oh, come on, really? 
I was gonna guess that first, but you know, sometimes you just don't get it right. Oh no. Oh, how did I not get damaged by that? Secret could be there. Probably is. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think so. Uh, let's hope. All right, nice. Ah, uh, dire. Um. Okay. Let's fight the boss. Ugh, I just keep getting bodied. Like, the shops don't exist when I want them, and then when they're there, then it's like, ah, I don't know. So. Alright, if we blow up the beggar with this, that would be nice. Yeah. Okay. Not the worst. Oh, not this monstro. Oh. Ah, darn. Oh, that's a full soul heart. Wow. Oh, that does so much damage. Wait, why is he so fast? I just realized. Like, he's actually super fast, this monstro. Is this like a sped up monstro? It might be a sped up monstro. That's probably why I was taken aback. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, torn photo is something, but uh, this is still a pretty poor run. Really? Man. Honestly, I might just do greedier after this. Instead of doing uh, normal, regular runs. This is a very unfriendly run. Oh, I forgot. Ah. It'll just be over at this point. Oh, what? an arcade oh no all right we gotta just gamble with this guy I guess run even decide to continue. Uh, I guess we gotta do this now. <clears throat> okay, we don't have to. You know what? I'm not gonna do that. Alright, just don't get hit. Uh -huh. Just don't get hit. It's so easy.
Ah, man. That's probably going to the boss. Oh no, this one is one to the boss. Alright, I'll take it. Honestly, I just want to fight the boss sooner than later, but the problem is it's steps too. So, I don't know. We kinda can't do that. Alright, there's a shop. Oh my goodness. Clutch, clutch. There's a soul heart. Alright, uh. In that case, let's blow up these. Actually, let's blow up this. Er. I mean, I could use this to drop myself to one health and then blow it up. Strats. Ah, well. Then we can donate the rest. Interesting, interesting. Uh, we could save the other half heart, I guess. Well, mm, might as well take it. Ah, oh, darn. The problem is that we're gonna, if we're going to curse room, then we end up spending that other half heart. So it's not ideal. Oh no! And I had iframes to be able to actually peek this without being in this position. Okay. Well, uh, no punish. No punish. Never punished. Uh, let me get the other half heart. Oh, I already got it. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I'm like, ah, uh, some of these rooms, I don't even want to, like, bother. Oh no, that's a jump scare, if I've ever seen one. Ah, these rooms. I never like seeing them. They're always just like... <sighs> Alright, now we get item room, of course. Oh no, what have I done? That's kind of just unlucky, though, to be honest. Like, what do you do about that? I mean, obviously, like, it's just like, you know. Oh, no. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Ooh, that's good to see. And that is not that great to see. That's extremely unfortunate. Okay. We just gotta go to the boss now. Maybe find secret, but like, uh, I mean. Yeah, like this is this is just messed up. And last bomb and no secret. All right then. Sure, fine. It's 
too risky to try to do anything else, so we just gotta cut our losses here. Darn. Actually, now that I think about it, I just make a circle, right? Oh no. The space is too tight for me to like really benefit from a lot of the usual shenanigans. Oh my goodness. I think I'm just dead. Dying at mom is so embarrassing, but like it's the reality. Oh my goodness. How am I still alive though? It's a real question. Oh, oh no, I saw that. I literally saw that. Oh, we lived? Oh, I forgot I had that. Oh, that's how that works? Oh, I'm so glad then. Wow, that's a clip. <clears throat> That wasn't even guaranteed to happen. I think that was, uh, this is like a random chance for that one. Well, I got bailed out by that. And I don't even know if I wanted to get bailed out. <clears throat> well then, the run continues. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. Oh, I, what? I got hit. Oh, there goes my black heart. There goes my black heart. There goes my black heart. And there goes... Okay, wait, hold up. Hold up. Run might be ending here, which is uh, not the worst. I kind of just want to be done. Yeah, okay, now it's ending. Oh, oh, I lived. Hold up. I thought I was dead for sure there because I got kind of trapped. No way. How am I still alive? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Wow. How am I alive? Okay, well now I'm dead. I got sniped right when I entered the room. Okay, GG's. Funny run. Okay, um, let me think about this. It's already four hours stream. I kinda wanna call it here. Uh, regular, Regular mode runs take a while compared to greed mode. So, yeah, I'll call it here. I might play a little more offline later, but um, we'll just play. We'll, we'll, we'll do some more stuff tomorrow. So, thanks everyone for watching. That's going to be all. I'll see you guys next time.